Dobrodošli u Partizanov magazin. U ovoj epizodi gledat ćete. Ling Long Superliga Srbije. Počeo je play-off. Moja priča. Vibra snatho. Kup Srbije. Još dve prepreke do trofeja. Prva tri boda u aprilu osvojena su u Humskoj na susretu protiv TSC-a i to u režiji asistenta Vibra Sanatha i raspoloženog Slobodana Uroševića. Izraz bi je prezentativac je najpre kratkim dodavanjem prilikom slobodnog udarca u 11. minutu omogućio levom beku da dokaže kako je među boljim šuterima u timu crno-belih, a zatim je u 38. minutu slobodnjak sa desne strane izveo Izraelac, a Urošević sjajnim udarcem glavom postavio i ispostavit će se konačan rezultat. Crno-beli su na ovom susretu nastupili bez najboljeg strelca Rikarda Gomeša, a posle triumfa nad ekipom iz Bačke Topole, Urošević je otkrio da su njih dvojica imali zanimljiv razgovor pred početak duela. To je bilo baš pred početak utakvice, više je bila šala, ali se na kraju ispostavilo stvarno da je tako bilo. Koliko je član reprezentacije Srbije do 19 godina, koja je 2013. godine postala šampion Evrope u Litvani i važan za tim Aleksandra Stanojevića, ogleda se i u tome što je samo nekoliko dana nakon ova dva pogodka potpisao novi ugovor sa Partizanom. Treća prepreka futbolerima Partizana u Kupu Srbije bila je ekipa Loznice i ona je uspešno savladana. Nakon 3-0 protiv Trajala i 1-0 na gostovanju Dubočici, rezultat je ovoga puta bio 2-0. Tako je obezbeđen plasman u polu finale i to već posle prvih 45 minuta igre. Strelac prvog pogodka bio je Ricardo Gomeš koji se vratio u tim, a onda u 33. minutu odličnim udarcem glavom iskoristio asistenciju Bibra Sanatha. Drugi pogodak postigao je Lazar Marković u posljednje minutu prvog dela igre. Izraelac je izveo korner sa ničanim glavom, prosledio loptu do kapitena Partizana na ovom meču, a on to rutinski pretvorio u gol. Nakon ove pobjede futbolere Partizana samo još dve utaknice dele od triumfa u ovom takmičenju. Prva od njih na programu je 11. maja kada u Humsku stiže Novosadska Vojvodina, sa kojom su igrači trenera Aleksandra Stanojevića i prošle godine igrali u istoj fazi takmičenja, tada su slavili sa 1 prema 0. Finalni meč na programu je 26. maja. Olako je ispuštena dva boda u posljednjem meču prvog dela sezone i to ne samo krivicom igrača Partizana. Jer futbaleri u crnim dresovima imali su inicijativu, stvarali šanse, ali je golman Čukaričkog Novak Mićević bio siguran za ustavivši prilike Rikarda, Meniga i još nekolicine igrača ekipe iz Humske. Međutim, detalj koji je obelažio u susret i o kojem se i danas priča dogodio se u 11. minutu. Ricardo je potpuno sam krenuo ka golu domaćina, a onda ga je sa leđa oborio Bojan Kovačević, kojem je sudija Novak Simović pokazao samo žuti karton. Bila je potrebna pobjeda da se Partizan vrati na čelo tabele Ling Long Superlige, gde je u ostalom i bio veći deo sezone, ali u toj nameri nije se uspelo. A Partizan je bio tako blizu. Dominacija u prvom polu vremenu bila je baš izražena. Promašaj Nikole Terzića iz 25. minuta će se dugo pamtiti. Sam je bio Partizanov bonus, ispred sebe imao prazan gol, ali je šutirao daleko preko prečke domaće ekipe. Do kraja meča prepunog tenzija nisu viđene šanse vredne pomena i još jedan večiti derbi završen je bez pobednika.
Dobro večer svima. Čestitam mojim momcima na karakteru koji su pokazali u ovoj utakmici. Čestitam i zvezdi bila je fer utakmica. Navijači su bili korektni celu utakmicu. Naši navijači nas bodrili sve vreme. U velikom broju su došli na njihov stadion. Tako da s te strane im dugujemo za hvalnost. Nije bilo mnogo šansi. Teška takmičarska utakmica. Mi smo imali svoje šanse, svoje situacije. Pogotovo 100% šansu u ovakvim utakmicama morate da rešite ako hoćete da pobedite. Nažalost, nismo pobedili, nismo srećni zbog toga. Razočarani idemo, ali opet ponosni. Ovi momci su pokazali karakter od početka do kraja utakmice. Hvala puno. Revanš za dva izgubljena boda na Banovom vrdu bio je ekspresan. Stigao je za samo deset dana. Drugo kolo play-offa donelo je novi duel Partizana i Čukaričkog, a ovog puta on je lako rešen u korist domaćih. Centralna figura Nečad ponovo je bio Vibra Snatho. Izrelac je najprej na njemu svojstve način sa neverovatnom vrkoćom u vođstvu crni velik pretvorio jedan esterac u 19. minutu. Rezultat je nakon četiri minuta igre u drugom periodu meča povisio Igor Vujačić nakon slobodnog udarca Natha, koji je i u 52. minutu asistirao Rikardu Gomešu za treći gol ekipe trenera Aleksandra Stanojevića. Stefan Kovač je deset minuta kasnije postavio konačan rezultat nakon loše komunikacije u odbrani Crnobelih. Znači da će biti hrvati. Because we play against we play against them uh, one week ago, and we know, but we know also that here in our stadium the the game could be different. Uh, like there, when we play away, we play good. In my opinion, we play very good. We didn't score, of course. And when you don't score, it's <laughs> it's uh, it's impossible to to win. But today, I think we show we show character. We of course we deserve to win, and uh, I think was uh, was was good. Obaveze u aprilu završene su onako kako su i započete pobedom protiv ekipe TSC-a. U pretposlednjem kolu prvog dela sezone bilo je 2-0 za momke u crno-belim dresovima, u trećem kolu play-offa triumf je bio još ubiljiviji 4-1. Gosti iz Bačke Topole poveli su u 31. minutu preko Stefana Vukića, ali su igrači Partizana već do odlaska na odmor uspeli da preokrenu rezultat. Do poravnanja se došlo u 41. minutu prelepim udarcem Bivarsa Natha i slobodnog udarca. Da bi samo dva minuta kasnije na semaforu stajalo 2-1, strelac je bio Ricardo Gomes. Doduše, taj pogodak je prvo poništen zbog navodnog offsajda asistenta Quincy Meniga, ali je nakon intervencije iz VAR sobe potvrđeno da Holanđani nije bio u nedozvoljenoj poziciji, pa je gol priznat. Tek što se krenulo sa igrom u drugom polu vremenu, prednost crno-belih je uvećana. Ovoga puta strelac je bio Aleksandar Miljković. Konačan rezultat je u 62. minutu postavio Nemanja Jović na odlično dodavanje Lazara Markovića. Navijači u Humskoj ga obožavaju, ali ne samo zbog toga gde je sve igrao. Kupio ih je svojom borbenošću, profesionalizmom i predanošću. Baš kao i neverovatnim nizom od 20 uzastupno uspešno izvedenih jedanesteraca za crno-bele u prethodne tri godine. Odigrao je više od 100 utekmica u dresu Partizana, želi da ih bude više od 200, a želja mu je da po končanju igračke karijere radi sa mladim igračima u možda najboljoj omanjskoj školi u Evropi, stvarajući nove zvezde Partizana. Partizanovci, upoznajte Vibra Sanatha.
Da im bi baš nadho. Playing Partizan the last almost three years. I'm from Israel. I play national team Israel. I'm captain of the national team Israel. I born in Israel. I play in Israel until 21 years. My first club and only club in Israel was Apoel Tel Aviv. From there I moved to Rubin Kazan. I played there four seasons. After four months in Pauk Saloniki in Greece. After I go back to Russia, to Moscow, CSKA, four years. And one year in Olympiakos. And after that I'm here. From the day I remember myself, I think uh, I practice all the time home, uh, not in the professional uh, way, but all the time play football, no matter when. Uh, the first um, can call professional team, it was when I was 10 years, 9 years, uh, I go to Apoel Tel Aviv. But before I all the time play in the street, in the you know, team in my small village, but not in the professional way. In nine, ten years, I start to to play in really professional club. Uh, I start like number ten uh, when I was uh, young. I think I play until sixteen, seventeen, something like that, and after I go a little bit one step back like number eight and sometimes number uh, six and uh, this is the three position i play all my career yes it's our job it was good uh, i heard a few times i when i also play against uh, when i play in rubin kazan we play against uh, uh, partisan uh, you know, who like football, uh, if you speak about Serbia, you direct uh, hear about Partizan. But uh, first time I meet them, it's with, with, it was with Rubin Kazan. Uh, yes, it's, uh, we, we, meet, we met in uh, CSKA and we played together uh, around three, three years. Uh, of course, he's a big player. He's, he was unbelievable, especially in the time in CSKA when I come. Uh, he's a great uh, person. And uh, yes, he's one of the reasons, if not the biggest reason I'm uh, here, because he do the first connection between me and uh, Partizan. Uh, yes, this is, this is the life. Sometimes small luck uh, can, do, can do everything. <laughs> Don't try to do it, but it uh, it really. If I look now, it's something special. I don't know if somebody do it and play in these three clubs. Uh, uh, again, I don't look at about that when I do the movement to Partizan. But uh, yes, you know, uh, maybe I like this side of the part. I don't know how to to say. Israel is my ex-club, Apoel Tel Aviv. Uh, now we are not in the best moment, but uh, you know this is only one, cl only the club I play in Israel, and of course it's it's my club there. I don't know exactly how much, but I think I score uh, around 51 from 58 penalty in my career, I think. Uh, it 
it's many many things uh, but this is the question if you know to to control your what you about what you think and what you want to do it's give you advantage to score but when you are under pressure and start to think about many things and I tell you, it's maybe like 30 seconds, 20 seconds, but you can you start to think about everything in the world. Sometimes you don't believe what you, you come inside your head because it's like I say, it's big pressure, especially about the who the shoot the penalty because uh, only he have lo lost something. You know, if goalkeeper save is is big, but if uh, uh, the penalty kick shoot miss. He's, he's the bad one in this uh, situation. This is why the, the big pressure is uh, who go to shoot the penalty, and especially when it's the last minutes or something really, you know, can, can decide the, the, the result. Uh, but like I say, you need to know to, to control your, about what you think, and I think it's especially about uh, quiet and about uh, experience. And I'm happy still I'm, until I become partisan, it's work 100%. And like I say, I hope it's only continue like that. I think Belgrade, Serbia, it's between Israel and Russia. From one side, it's very European people with you know, with respect, with everything, but also they are very warm, like the Israeli people, you know, and they want to help with everything, and it's very nice to, to, to feel that. Uh, and especially with my, my family enjoy here, my kids, my wife, uh, we feel very good. Uh, we like the city, we like the country, uh, and I only hope it's continue like that. My three kids uh, in school here in uh, international school, uh, and the big, the biggest one uh, training in Partizan. Uh, it's nice to, to to see him. You know, I like I see myself when I was in this age. My father was uh, come with me all the trainings and you know watch and speak, and he was really like my mentor. Uh, all my career until he died, he, he was my best friend, my, my father, my everything, you know, my best fan. Uh, and it's very important, you know, when you want to success in football, you need this uh, support from our family or uh, some close friend. And I'm happy I have it with my, my father. Uh, about my son, I give, I, from one side, I give him advance, but I, you know, I know in this age, he have his coach. I prefer to to he learn from his coach. Uh, when he decide to be professional football and he really want to be like that, uh, maybe I start to give him advice about uh, football also. But now I prefer to to help him to to be good person and this most important for me. Okay, but I have more. Hey, I tell you one more. Uh, I have, when I was five, six years ago, I have dreamed to be coach uh, uh, and I like it and I want to be coach, but uh, now I maybe prefer to be coach of uh, young players, uh, to work with uh, academic players. I know the academic of Partizan, it's one of the best in Europe, you know, and uh, why not if I can do it and it can be a great experience for me and if I can help, uh, I'd be glad to, be, to do it. Yes, uh, I have good relationship with the fans. Uh, because I think they know I give my 100%, you know, of course, uh, nobody can be good all the time. Uh, this is the football. Uh, you have good games, you have good, uh, bad games, you lose, you win. 
it's different. You know, this is a team team sport. This is 11 uh, players, and uh, sometimes when I bed, my friend help me, and sometimes it's uh, depend the other side. Uh, I think you know, finally supporters uh, like who players who give 100% in the pitch and uh, do the best. Uh, and I think I am like this, you know, I play with emotion when I am in the pitch and I try to be the best, I try, I try to help my team uh, and I I happy, you know, the fans see it and they like it. Partizan u ozbiljnom napadu, dobar pokušaj i evo gola, Bibar Snatko, četvrti minut, Partizan vodi 1-0. I have many, many good games and may, many good memory in uh, Partizan. Uh, and I think we can do it, this memory better and better because uh, the future it's really, you know, we can do something big and I believe that. For me, it's very important to, to, to finish this season uh, with, uh, with uh, some trophy. Uh, of course, I want the champions, uh, but we have also the cup. Uh, and when I come here, I come to, to take trophy, and in this moment, I don't do it. Uh, I, th I think, uh, yes, it will be, I will be very happy to, to be with uh, 200 games here. Uh, I think uh, I am in good, good shape in my career now, and I can give uh, the club uh, like more two, three years to, to play here. Uh, but we will see what happens in future.